jelly, slimy likeness to it. But what makes this so great is that you're going to get some great slip, great definition. <laughs> for this video if you are new to my channel welcome to my channel I am so glad you are here I'm a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of curly chemistry where I help you guys understand your hair and products from a cosmetic chemist perspective and I'll also teach you guys how to start hair care lines as well and today we are talking about five amazing hydrating waters and when it comes to moisturizing our hair it goes way beyond, you know, little water spritz, little cream here and there. There's so much more to it. There are actually hydrating water with not only moisturizing benefits, but also nutrients and antioxidants and so much more that can actually help our hair, especially our curly, thick or thin, high, low porosity hair. And with summer being like right around the corner comes that summer heat. But with that summer heat, you are getting dryness, frizziness, breakage that leads to a lack of length retention. And this summer heat can also disrupt your hair growth cycle and it can age our hair, which is not good, right? Right. So stay to the end because you're going to want to know about each of these waters, okay? And I want to talk to you guys about when to use it and how to use it in your regimen, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, number one is going to be lavender water. Yes, this is a thing. You can actually buy this or you can make it yourself, okay? Now, what makes it so amazing is that you guys know lavender has been known for stimulating blood flow to the scalp to produce hair growth, right? Right, but another great thing about lavender is that it is full of antioxidants. And I mentioned earlier how that summer heat and even just heat in general, the sun itself can age our hair, disrupt the hair growth cycle. That's because the sun releases free radicals. And when they come into contact with our hair, you know, sometimes they can cause some issues. However, when you are utilizing things like lavender water that is full of antioxidants, it's going to help to prevent that. On top of that, lavender is naturally a astringent. So it can be used as a toner on the face, but on the scalp, it helps to reduce excessive oiliness on the scalp. So if you suffer from an oily, oily scalp, definitely not only use lavender water on your hair, but also on your scalp as well. Okay, number two is going to be hibiscus water. And a lot of you guys are already incorporating hibiscus water into your regimen. Now what I love about hibiscus is that it turns the water like a beautiful reddish burgundy color. It is so, so gorgeous. But on the hair care side, hibiscus water is known for instantly softening the hair and also giving the hair a beautiful natural shine. On top of that, that's number three. On top of that, I would say in the summertime, you know, we experience a lot of frizziness, you know, going through different humidities and whatnot. Hibiscus water is known for reducing frizz, which is great because I'm trying to rock some smooth braid outs and twist outs, okay? And then last but not least, hibiscus water is also known for reducing shedding. We're trying to keep our strands as much as possible, especially in the antigen phase, okay? We don't want it to be in the telogen phase just yet. So hibiscus water can help with that as well. So that's number two, hibiscus water. Okay, number three is going to be the infamous rose water, okay? Why is this so special? Why, what's, what's going on with this? Number one, it is acidic, okay? Our hair, our scalp is acidic. So it's going to be very compatible with our hair and our scalp and also helps to, you know, keep it balanced, you know? Number two, this can also be like an astringent. So it's going to help to reduce oiliness, excessive oiliness on the scalp. It helps to reduce frizziness, and it also helps to reduce dandruff as well on the scalp. And of course, rose water, you know, the base of it being water is going to be very, very hydrating to the hair. Number four, I kind of like snuck this one in here because technically it's not a water, but there is water in here, but I digress. Oat milk. It's so good for the hair. I mean, number one, it's full of nutrients and vitamins. I mean, think about someone who suffers from an itchy scalp. What do you do? Well, let's just say this. When you're a kid, you had chicken pox, right? You were like in that oatmeal bath, right? Or some type of something to soothe the skin, reduce the itchiness. The same thing applies to our scalp. So if you have an itchy scalp, oat milk on the scalp, gonna be good. Even as a, ooh, as an oat milk hair rinse. 
massage it on the scalp. That's gonna be good. Oh, and put a shower cap on, let it sit for 20 minutes, rinse it out, thank me later. That's all I gotta say. Another benefit of oatmeal is that it naturally has a mucilage to it. Now, when I say mucilage, it's gonna have like a, almost like a jelly, slimy likeness to it. But what makes this so great is that you're gonna get some great slip, great definition, you know, manageability. You can literally soak like some Quaker oats, like the, the dried ones in some water. I'll put a recipe below for you guys as well. And then the next morning, or actually not even that long, you can do it for like five or six hours. Make sure you strain off all the, the physical particles. You'll be left with this milk. That is what you wanna use on your hair. Something like this, you're gonna wanna discard it probably after a week, cause it's gonna start to smell bad. But for that first week, definitely try it out and see how your hair responds to it. It is definitely a hidden gem in my opinion. Okay, and last but not least is going to be, you probably already guessed it, aloe vera juice, okay? is an amazing hydrating water because it is packed full of amino acids and amino acids are like the building blocks of our hair. So they are helping to restore our hair, especially when it's damaged. On top of that, aloe vera juice is acidic. You guys know we love acidic stuff on our hair and our scalp. And then aloe vera juice, as you guys know, is a humectant. It's going to draw moisture into the hair. It's gonna soften the hair. It's gonna reduce dandruff. It's going to soothe the scalp. The list goes on. I recommend the juice over the gel because, you know, put the juice in a spray bottle, spritz, 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 you're good, you're done, okay? So those are my recommendations. Those are my top five hydrating waters. Now, how do you incorporate these into your regimen? You can use these on a daily basis. You can start off maybe three times a week, or like I said, a daily basis. All of these are gentle on the hair and the scalp. Nothing funky, nothing crazy, but of course, if you notice any irritation, of course, discontinue usage with any type of product in general, in general, okay? In general. <laughs> All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new. My next video, I'm going to be focusing on Hawaiian oils that promote longer hair. It's going to be great, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But until then, to stay in the loop for more curly chemistry content, be sure to Number one, like this video, please, if you like this video, and also subscribe to Curly Chemistry and make sure kids are on to stay in the loop so you do not miss a video, okay? And of course, I have a question for you. Um, I know we all have like our own little moisture spray mix. I'm curious to know what is your moisture spritz mix? Like, what's in it? Let us know, share your recipe, okay? Comment below, letting me know what is like your spritz mix. And I have a second question. Um, what is like one summer hair care tip you wanna share? You know, maybe it's deep condition once a week, or you know, like what is that thing? Comment below, let us know, and I cannot wait to join the conversation with you. If you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry, and of course your hair, be sure to check out the Natural Hair Care Wisdom flashcards and the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. I will have the link below for both of those to get more information on them. And if you are interested in starting a hair care line and really just get the ball rolling, no matter where you are on the journey, I am here to help to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one with me. I will link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.